Welcome to part two of the GBoss tutorial. This is what our game looks like so far, and you might notice that this itself is not a game, it's more of an animation. There is no user interactivity in this right now. And this is what we are going to do in part two. We are going to add this interactivity. So basically what's going to happen is when we click on one of the balls, it's going to disappear and 10 points will be added to our score. So let's implement this. This is what you should have so far. You have the ball object and the brick object. Click on the ball object and choose edit object. We are going to add a new event. So click on new and click on click. The button is the left mouse button, so that's all fine. In the tasks, choose new task and scroll down until you find set score. Here it is. Click on add. And here is where you can choose how much score you get for clicking on the ball. And I'm going to make mine 10. and make sure that relative is true. Click on new task and choose destroy. Add it. And the default um, default setting should be fine. We also need to add one more bit of intelligence. When we click on all of the balls and they are all disappeared, we need to end the game and display a winning message. Add a new task. The task that we need to add is if instance count. Add it. And here the value should be zero. The object should be ball object and the operation is equal. Click on new task. Click on start block. Add it. Click on new task. And select display a message. And here you can enter in the message of your choice. Remember, this is the message that is displayed when you win the game. I said, you win the game. Click apply. Add a new task. And this task is uh, end game. Add it. Add a new task and this task will be end block. So what is happening is that when there are no balls left, you get a message saying you win and the game is ended. Let's see if this actually works. Press done and test your game. Click on generate. And now GBoss is generating your game for you. Okay, here it is. And as you notice, it still has the same effect of the balls bouncing, but let's see what happens when you click on one. Look, your score increased by 10. Let's see what happens when all of them are gone. You win the game. Good job, you've now completed your first game. But as you noticed, the game was quickly ended by our program. If you want the message to be displayed for longer, we can easily change that. Click on Build Objects and edit the ball object. Choose the uh, click state and the end game. We don't even need this, so you can click on Delete. Press Done and test your game once again. Click on Generate. 
your game is being generated. Okay, so let's try this again. You win the game. There's your message. And as you can see, it was really easy to create your own game and publish it online. And this is what GBoss is all about. There are many ways to further customize and enhance your game, and one of them is by adding a background, and I'm going to do that right now. So close this window, go to import graphics, choose a background, any background you'd like. I'm going to use this one. And instead of adding a graphic, just click add background, and it should appear. Go to assemble game. Choose your background, just click on it, and my background is actually a tiling background, which means that I have to press this button here, repeat background. Okay, now with my background added, I can test the game once more. Here's my game, with the background all complete. This concludes the video tutorial for this simple game.